And welcome back. This is Kotal for another War Rights event, and I am joined once more by an intrepid member of the Fourth Georgia. This time, Mr. Owens. How are you doing, good sir? Hey, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, not too bad on this Saturday. So I, uh, we had Liam on yesterday, so I had to get oh, some yeah. more Fourth Georgia going here. Yeah, it's a Fourth Georgia takeover. We find the channel soon. Just taking it over, hey, baby. You just look better <laughs> than I do. Uh, but we have a conquest for this UEC. It is Rocky Slopes, 282 on the server count, 140 on the CSA versus 142 on the Union. And I will go ahead and uh, do a bit of a roll call for the CSA and then uh, go from there. Great. Oh, I lied. I guess I'm going to do the Union first because I came over here. So we've got SB, Mr. Dot Point on one gun, and then we have, let's see, Sergeant Miller here from the GC. Then on the infantry side, got the LFL, the SR, 4th New Jersey, 6th Texas, the 52nd New York, the Tennessee Brigade, the uh, 6th New York, the 88th New York, and the 51st New York, and the 1st Virginia. Um, did I miss anybody? I missed Eddie. I missed the two USC down here. Can't forget Eddie. Let's see. So leading them, we got LFL under Arc, two USC under Eddie. O'Keefe is leading the 52nd. Captain Victor's leading the 4th New Jersey. Looks like they have two officer meetings. That, that's not a good start. <laughs> that's very strange. I guess it's two different, you know, hey, you Task Force 1, Task Force 2, maybe? I don't know. And so we got TB under Captain... Uh, De Captain uh, catch my decoys. Russo is leading six Texas. 88th under Sergeant Frog. Pilot is leading the NY the six New York, and Ulti is leading the 51st. And Sergeant First Sergeant Johnson leading the um, first VA. Yeah, lots of small um, groups in the Union today. Lots of merged groups as well. Like, like we were talking about before the map started, we'll see how well they could work together. Exactly. Um, yeah. Let's see, on the CSA, starting with the Artie, we got uh, Perkington from Embat. We've got Fort Georgia, Private Anton from your guys. Oh, yeah. And we got Jeff Davis Battery here under Corporal Barron. And let's swing over and check out the CSA team. They are live at 40, so I can, uh, you know, fumble about here a little bit. Oh, oh, man, they got one officer's meeting. That's already... We'll, we'll see. <laughs> That's very strange that you didn't have two, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know if that was intentional. They just couldn't find each other. Um, yeah. So we've got A and V, 6th Alabama, and the 10th Alabama. Then we've got 20th Georgia, 8th Florida. Actually, I'm going to screen. Got 3rd Alabama, 56th Virginia, 2 Corps, Alabama German Legion. I'm missing your guys. Where are they? Oh, there they are. 4th right Georgia as well. Oh, yeah. And did I miss anybody? I think I did. I think that's it. I think you got 20th Georgia, yeah. Yep, you got 20th Georgia as well. So on leadership, we got A and V under Captain Mike Ferrick. Slaughter leading the 56. Fort Georgia led by Clarkey. AGL by Juicy B. Hogg is leading 8th Florida. Cap Williamson is leading 3rd Alabama. And 20th Georgia by Jumbo. So Mr. Clarkey is leading. So uh, yeah. they're live now, and off they go. Um, do you think, uh, which do you think Clarkie would prefer, to be kind of defending a point, or do you think he'd rather be on the attacking side? Um, on this map, I think he'd want to probably create, like, a weakness on probably the far flanks, either C or A, um, either that, or they've agreed all to rush to B first, which is a good plan as well. Um, if they all rush the center point, that's fine, but, um, I think Clarkie is more, um, one to go on the flanks. Yeah, I think, yeah, well, it looks like they detached Jumbo um, to go cap uh, A point, and I think the rest are heading for B from what I could see right now. You know, you see this thing of conquest, and uh, contention is always just a long walk at the very start. Yeah. I think the uh, Union is kind of doing the opposite. They're sending most of their troops over to C point, and just a few units are going towards uh, the center point. In fact, they're not even really going. It's uh, let's see who this is over here. It is Mr. Ark in the LFL, and he's got some support from the 52nd, Mr. O'Keefe. But I don't know about how well they're going to do against that whole force. 
Let's take a look at these initial volleys here. Oh, it looks like uh, we got some initial movement here. Mr. O'Keefe is heading down. And who's coming up to meet him? It is Mr. Slaughter. So what do you what do you think, Mr. Holmes, about this initial uh, disposition for both teams? Would you uh, recommend any changes for either one, or do you think they both kind of have it set? I think I lost Owens. So that's not good. Did I lose Owens? Oh, oh there we are. Uh, we're back. Apparently, I can't. Apparently, my Discord decided to uh, restart on me for some reason. There we go. All right. All right. I, I, well, I was just asking um, to to the uh, you know <laughs> to nothing. I was to just either. like, but now let me ask you. And it just went completely quiet, and I was like, "Coach, are you there? You're quiet. Yeah. You okay? No, apparently not. But um, so as I was asking the air, what do you think about this initial disposition for the two teams here? Um. Can you just pan out to the very top, just because I've missed uh, what's just happened? Um, let me see. The Union seems to be really overcommitting on that far right CSA, uh, far left Union. I think that's a big overcommitment right there. On that flank, they need to be pushing down to the center because you can see the CSA has just been given a free point right there. Yeah, or I mean, or a point. They could do either one, but I think. They are, I agree with you, they're overcommitted to this defense over here, and that is going to hurt them. Yeah. Um, Usually you only see, like, one unit sent to one of the far flanks, but um, it seems like quite a few units are committed right there. Here's another problem, too, I think, is, you know, you got the Artie is now in front of the defensive line. Yeah. Which may not work out well. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll definitely see. Now, one thing I often see is that um, the two teams will kind of switch. Um, they're already, like, the CSA will go and seize that position and put their gunners up there. And Union will do yeah. the same for these guns. Yeah, it's always interesting. Um... Who the fuck you shooting? AMB form up on the case odds. Uh -oh, did I lose you again? Uh oh. Hold and shoot, hold and shoot, hold and shoot. Hold, and shoot. Back, hold here on the case odds. Do not hold extend. Well, I think I lost him again, and I think the connection is the problem with uh, me trying to stream and record and uh, all three at once, which might be. Uh, Hurting this connection a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go again. I th like I said, I think it's on uh, my side the connection issue. Uh, I'm trying to do all three. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Man. We'll, we'll try to drive on. But um, yeah, so right now, current battle state, uh, CSA has two points versus one for the Union, and in fact, the CSA is putting pressure on this Union defense here. What do you think about the uh, aggression here from the uh, CSA team this early? Hey, yeah, it's pretty good. I, I like always seeing just like a straight forward commitment and I think maybe the uh, bit of discohesion from the Union may be from like the two different officer meetings we saw at the start. Hey, your stream's gone by the way. Oh, is the stream gone? Right, let's see if I get it. Let's try doing it from this angle. We'll see if this works better. All right, great. But yeah, um, the the union already like not even ten minutes into the match seem a bit disorganized. Yeah, yeah, and and, and it's um, almost uh, half morale state already down here. We're at thirty four minutes, just under it. Um, it's going to be tough for them to recover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Now, with that being said, again, I mean, I, I think the, uh, I would actually attack A point right now. Yeah, it's wide open. Neither team are really contesting it at all, which is actually quite crazy. 
Now, here's a uh, cheeky thing you can do. So, you can actually lower the I flag as an Arnie man. Really? In, yes. Mechanically. I'm not sure if it's against the rules. So, you always see guys. I'm sure it's against the rules. Yeah. yeah. Let me know if it's against the rules. I think it might I think it might be, but. I think there was an issue on it a few days, like a, few, a week or two ago. But yeah, I don't think it's allowed in the rules. But here is a Union flank in the far woods behind the CSA. This yeah, Rousseau being a little gutsy here. Back there. See, I think did somebody. See see, I think Jumbo might have seen him. Oh yeah. Yeah, Jumbo's gonna light him up. But Rousseau has no flag with him, so I. He's just trying to go for the decap there. I mean, even even just a decap can uh, you know help you recover a little bit. Yeah, because you're going to have to commit over to that point again. Yeah. Yeah. So you say you'll have to send the flag over to recap yeah. it, and you know, it'll stop the exactly. uh, the decline on the morale at the very least, give you some kind of... Yeah, yeah. Uh, looks like we do have a pretty major attack developing over here, though, so I'll check back on Rousseau, but... Here comes Mr. Ulti, his men singing. I've only got a bayonet. Stream being a little bit more unstable, doing it from that angle. Uh, no, that's okay. Let's see, Ulti, Ulti's getting some nice angles in 20th Georgia, but, um, you know, you still have that big CSA stronghold and that uh, rock formation, which are able to shoot right at them. Yep, and then I'm going to swing up to see if I can catch this action here. Looks like Jumbo caught, uh, to Rousseau. Oh yeah. They might reach to the point, but is do they have enough time to decap at this question? I don't think they do. No, it was a good reaction there by uh, Mr. Jumbo here, and I think that's going to save him. Yeah, they already killed the guy on the flag. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, agree. Reaction there from British Georgia. So that that's going to keep the uh, them pretty far in the lead here. Now, as far as the Union goes. Yeah, I still think they need to do. I don't know. What do you think now? Try to try to attack in the center or keep playing for that A point, the wide flank. What do you think right now? To be honest, um, like you see the way the CSA is actually playing really well by setting up a forward defense away from the point, which is keeping the Union um, even further from the point. So I'd actually just disengage from this completely and go to southeast east, and then probably just try to make an attack from the cornfield, maybe. Using the terrain. Try to attack from above. Yeah, like a, as a as a team, you know. Yeah, I, I, I think that would uh, be a better angle for them. Um, yeah, I agree. And also, I agree with the forward defense that you pointed out. I think that works is working out well for the CSA. Yeah. Yeah, really well. You have fifty second kind of. Wo sollen wir spawnen wenn wir sterben? And they got hit hard though by that volley from the 20th. <laughs> yeah, good volley right there. That's a decent shot too, that is not close. Decent 200 yards. Ah, oh, yeah, the bodies turn off pretty quick. That was at least 4 or 5. I guess I'll bit 4 or 5, yeah. But if, uh, that's gonna tie down. Jumbo and his guys, that might create a bit of an imbalance over here. Yeah. Let's see if I can find four here, see what those guys are up to. God, don't tell me they've been wiped. <laughs> Have they? Man, I don't, I don't see him. Where'd right. he go? Oh, that's third Alabama. Huh. Yeah, I think they might be on that far right side on the uh, sneak fence. I think that's where they're at. Oh, but while that's going on, though, I didn't miss this. The Union came down in that direction you were talking about. Oh, yeah. The six Texas at least coming down that direction and kind of opening up some space for NYV. It's going to give them a good opportunity here to take this flag down and a better defensive angle, I think. Yeah. You can see what just happens right there when the entire Union team 
like gets together and charges together. Yeah, this is uh, now the CSA has to attack uphill to retake this point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is going to be really hard to recover uh, for the CSA. Oh, but we have a bit of a flank attack developing here. Looks like Jumbo came out. He's going to try to contest it. He is punching a lot of holes in the Union lines, but he is um, out in the open. Yeah. Um, yeah, that already is uh, knocking him down a little bit too. Oh yeah, that already is behind him as well. But to be honest with you, I think uh, standing out is not a bad idea. You gotta try to, you gotta try to contest the point as much as you can. Yeah, I agree. I like what 20 of is doing here, but if I if I were in the position of the CSA right now, I would push up and try help 20 of. Instead of just sitting back at the snake fence here. Still haven't really found Fort Georgia, which is thrilled. Where are you guys? Yeah. God, God knows. God are they knows. on the other? Are they on the other team? Did I, did I screw that up? No, I think I think this is it today. They're bottom B. If you if you left click on their on like one of the, on like Clarky's name and then hit spec to, I think you can. Yep. Oh yeah, they're on the twentieth Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Mid hit, pirate. Oh, they're pulling off point. This might be our chance. Okay. Oh, they are there. Oh, I, just, I, just, I just somehow. Oh, right, yeah. Went over them. See, when Fuji is not here, it's like hard to. Oh, I can't, I can't locate them without, you know, <laughs> spines. I'm like, where are they? I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I like where Fort George is now. They can see both sides uh, in front of the east and to the south, south east. Uh, yeah, I do. That's too. a good shot, too. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just the yardy guys trying to get back to their cannon. I thought oh, it might have yeah. been a little raiding party, but. <laughs> um. Yeah, but now we see, um, I'm kind of surprised the Union isn't sending another element out to just cap A and try to triple cap them. Yeah, to be honest, but, um, if you think you have to, if you want to send one more unit to A, that's one less unit defend and B. I mean, true, but, you know, I guess, yeah, I always like being aggressive on it, but it's, it's, it's a pretty good defensive line here, although the CSA might be, uh, looking to do a push here soon, but the tickets are, you know, at 25 minutes. CSA is still a little bit ahead, but uh, kind of falling down a little bit. Yeah, they are beginning after that um, cap, cap of B. They're going to start falling behind very soon. So they got to take the initiatives very soon to push. So do you think concentrate on uh, center, or do you think you try to make a flank attack on uh, the far point? What do you think? In this instance, I'd just say like everyone in the center because if you're charging uphill, you might as well concentrate in one spot, or maybe try to take them K zones, but it'd be very, very hard against that space standing yeah. there. Oh, as we're talking, here they go. Yep. It's like a pretty good attack. Yeah, it looks like it's going well so far. Although they still do have SB from the Union on that artillery. Yeah, but they'll get that flag down though, definitely. If nothing else. Definitely, yeah. And Union have lost a lot of tickets from that engagement compared to CSA as well. Behind the rocks, boys, full kits. In fact, I would, I'm kind of surprised these guys aren't attacking forward too. They might be able to retake those guns. Yeah, me too, especially now that SB are leaving the case hunts. Yeah, now they're messing around with AGL over here. It's, they're kind of open. I think at the UC, AGL are like amazing at skirmishing. It's very hard to get around them. Oh, yeah. okay, more and in fact, here comes Williamson doing exactly that. Yeah. Oh, 
SBR are gonna have to go that. Top of the road. Right side. Get this you know, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's pretty much a complete wipe of the Union. Yeah, it's uh, this small element here under TB is the only thing left, but I don't think they could even stay here. Yeah, they're going to have to run away soon, and everyone's going to be spawning from me in. Fourth New Jersey, I yeah. guess, is who it is. Yep, that's, that's Victor, I see there. Lots of bleep west, west down the hill. Yeah, west it's uh, Fourth New Jersey and Second US merged together today. Now, sneaky, sneaky, though. Oh, is it going to be Six Texas again? Yes, it is. It is, yeah. Again, I, I, I always, I mean, you know, even if it's just a decap, it, it's fine. Yeah, I agree. In the meantime, here comes Slaughter. I think he has a similar idea. I like the idea behind this, trying to keep the momentum of every, everyone in the Union basically being at main. So, so it looks like we're going to have a 56 versus 2 USC fight here. It's definitely going to be a struggle right here for the C point. I don't think Eddie sees him. Oh shit, he doesn't. Oh god, Eddie. Look out! They're seeing him now. They're there. Oh, now Victor saw him, or Eddie saw him. Either way, it might be too late though. Ah, uh, that valley wasn't too devastating, to be honest with you. A lot of them went, well, a lot of the shots went over the heads, but you know. It's uphill, it's not an easy shot, but... Yeah, it's, it's quite a hard shot shooting uphill, but, um... The 56 is just going to keep on laying down massive volleys on uh, the 4th New Jersey and 2nd US contention right there. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I would I would make a play for C before reinforcements get up there. Yeah, I agree. I think you just need to push now, to be honest. Looks like uh, looks like uh, A point is falling back into uh, Union hands. Oh no, it's just it's just uh, Six Texas is still there. Okay. Yeah, it seems to see there yet to send the unit back to recapture that point, which might be a mistake, to be honest. Um, yeah, uh, especially if, um, Slaughter can, can take C point. Exactly, because, um, on that C point you have the, or, or sorry, on that A point, um, you do have the artillery overlooking it. Try and get that flank if you can. Although I think, yeah, uh, Eddie and Victor might have, uh, yeah, yeah, I think he's fallen back, so I think Eddie yeah. and Victor saved it. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty key defense, yeah. It's right there. But who's this coming on them? I didn't mean to say that like that. Oh, oh no, Pause. No. <laughs> Pause. Pause, right. Uh, Williamson coming in for a charge. Yeah. Yeah. This might be, uh, might be enough to win. Shotgun. Yeah. Is there any other Union coming up? Oh, see, here's the problem with that, though. Yeah, you see, they've, they've run out of time now to try move on that C point, and Fifth Ala or Third Alabama is just going to get um, completely pincered. Yeah, they're completely surrounded now. They lost their flag. Yeah. They're just going to get wiped here now. Oh, God. I think if Third Alabama had been about three minutes earlier, then they would have been able to push the 52nd, but um, unfortunately it was too spread out. Yeah, just a little bit missed time, but you know, it's it's tough. There's no, uh, you know, in game, you know, it's all scrum, you know, you know how it goes. It's all uh, messages, yeah. you know, it can't be like, hey, over chat, you know, we need help on C point or anything like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Most of these, you uh, with the U UEC, there is no Steam chat, and you're not allowed to coordinate in text chat. However, CSA got a point back from the Six Texas. They did, um, but you know it's it's still two points versus one point. Yeah, which, which is the enduring problem here now for the Union. 
I mean, if you think about how many casualties, 52nd, just token, and for Alabama have been wiped, CSA are still very good off for tickets because they have two points compared to Union's one. Oh, he's yeah. just making a dash for the center. Uh, this is Mr. Frog. Let's see what he's thinking. He's trying to get an angle, maybe? Yeah. Trying to get uh, another angle on this these guys here, where I think are covered by the uh, big rock. He does here. have that group behind him who just recaptured a point. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, he does. Although some other union, I think that'll probably slow him down. They're charging in. Oh no, they stopped. Get on these stones! Get on, on these the stones! On the rock! On the right! On the rock! On the right! Not the rock! Fire alert! Independent fire! Load in cover! Just adjusted some settings. Is it uh, still running okay for you? Yeah, it's all good. It was a uh, glitch for five seconds, but it's fine. See, um, I think that's a bit of a mistake there from 20. If I think always charge skirms because they're not allowed to race uh, according to the rules. Yeah, they, they got the, they, they have to fall back, so there's no reason not to charge them. Now, this this works to their yeah. advantage; they get to shoot you out. Exactly, you have to charge them every single time. I mean, plus even then, you had LFL right behind, so I don't know how much you were really gonna do that damage wise. Although the B point seems like a fairly open uh, if LFL and who is this right here? Pilot, I think if they turn in, I think they might be able to take B point. Yeah. Definitely. You got AGL down here, but it's always tough to cover commentate on conquest because there's no. always so much going on. It's like, oh, it's like Fort George is going on in here. Oh, I didn't catch all of it, but it looks like them and A and V went in. Looks like it was a very close fight. One man left. Doug, they got him. Yeah. Oh, yep, and then as I look away, they made a move on B. Six Texas again. Hey, uh, come. One shot. He's in Achtung, Yankee. In Norden, ganz dicht, ganz dicht, einzelner, einzelner Rembo. So the problem for these guys is I don't think they have enough men to actually take the flag down with only two. You gotta be in skirmishing. Yeah, yeah, you do. Well, just died the artillery, so. Oh, there's another oh, morale yeah. state. Yep. Yeah. Uh, CSA are gonna put the Union back down to taking losses. And here come Fred Alabama from their min spawn. Looks like Pilot's gonna, or um, Frog is gonna get his men out of there. It's probably wise. Oh, some of them. Uh oh. Some of them didn't leave. It's a different unit. Brace! Brace for charge! Send them back to Richmond! Oh, NYB are gonna brace here, but um, it gets for Alabama, it's not gonna work. Yeah. Although they will delay them going to be. Maybe that was just the intent, to just buy some time yeah. for the uh, unit up the hill. Yeah. So you had the six come up here now. Yeah, trying to solid. get the flag down. Solid idea, but you've got these uh, people at the very top who are going to just uh, hook down now. Hey, they still might get the flag down at the very least, but let's see. Yeah. No. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> no, they won't. Get the flag and run. Get the flag and run. Run, run. It's no way to run. run Third Alabama's cut off your retreat. <laughs> yeah, the only way you can run is towards the CSA. Uh, so stay and die at this point. Yeah, you might as well just hit escape and respawn. Yeah, really good envelopment there from the CSA. Love to see it. Yeah. Like so, I said, ever since the start of the game, they've this, the union is completely overcommitted on C point. No, they they seem very nervous about losing it, um, and I can understand it's 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 tough to uh, defend it, but can't. Uh, 
I would have fought over A and B, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm surprised that nobody's fighting over the A point. Yeah, I mean, A, you got, you're already overlooking it, and, you know, okay, B yeah. will be the contest. It's like, oh, let them have C. Yeah. Usually you see Union try to go for the C point because it's like they have the, the cornfield and it's uh, closer to their main spawn, but like you said, A is overlooked by their artillery, so either is a fine option. Just like, over committing is not a good option. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Sure that 56 and 2 core moving up here. Oh, there's your gunners mm. going after it. Oh, yeah. Auf die direkt vom Baum sind, dass wir die erstmal wegjagen wieder. With some close range shooting. Oh. Let's see if I can see a cannon shaft from your crew here, real quick. Ready? Aim, shoot team. Ready, aim. Yeah, bring case after this. Fire! No pressure, Anton. You better hit this. I'm right in front of you. Uh, Alright, fair enough. Why were you doing shell though? Yeah! Not, not, not great, not terrible. <laughs> that second shot was a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah the artillery oh, needs to be case, but, you know, maybe they are out of case. That could, that could very well be this an ammo prom. Map, match. Yeah, it could be an ammo prom. But, yeah, good hit either way. Yeah, yeah, still cause casualties, still, you know. Ow. These poor guys got hit. Dude, know, this is what I'm talking about, why I like hitting Ape Wank, because it's just like, these are such easy shots. Yeah, I agree with you. Like, it is very good for the Union to try. You know, their sand in 6 Texas um, over to that point either 6 Texas or Courtney or not, but um, I, I'd, I'd even send a flag over there just to try and hold it for a wee bit. Where is Canada? Um, yeah, I mean, like, you can, you know, it's not, uh, you can hold from back here like you do in Copeland. It's not, you know, yeah. the best, but, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's or even, like, the rock behind it on the east side. Right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there's positions you can kind of dig in on if you want to. Yeah. But, um, you know, there's, like, 11 minutes, or 10 minutes, 40 seconds left. Union are pretty much done in morale stage. What would you do if you were the Union right now in this dire, dire times? What would I do? Um... I would um, go for broke, and I go for a triple cap. I would, I would, yeah. I would abandon C, send uh, two thirds of my force against uh, B point, a third of my force on A point, and then try to defend forward and try to yeah catch him. Because I, I don't think this you need a hail mary at this point if you're gonna try to win. Yeah, just try hold that three point cap. I think I saw Fourth Georgia push up the left fence. Very nice. I think I got some nice shots on that. Um, cornfield, it's just hard for them to maneuver for the flag. It's always hard. And then, you know, the reason I would say that too is it, it, they don't, it's very tough to reach C point in three minutes from main spawn. So you know they're going to hit either B or A, so you can kind of just, yeah. like, just defend from this fence line yeah. up to here and just have already trained on A. You know, yeah, so I agree. Just try to get that three minute. It's not a great plan. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but. I mean. But it's, We're seeing the Union push in for Binoy. If they can take that and then push up all the way to the sink, that's going to be very bad for the CSA. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, run. And we'll be again here from the center. Charge right into him. Go right into him. Go right into him. Right into him. Yeah, looks like, uh, get a little charge here from the 88th. LFL supporting him. Yeah. And, uh, the 6th New York, so. There's a pretty sizable force here. Yeah, this is good, and uh, but uh, the, that's allowed the CSA unit to push up all the way to almost close to their uh, fence right here on the east southeast. Yeah, they they've moved up a bit. Um, they haven't taken it yet, though. Yeah. Which again is why I would go for you know you send another unit right now, like this unit right here, SB. Yeah. Or actually, probably. Is there another unit? Expire. 
Like maybe, uh, do these guys have a flag? No, it's just first VA. Yeah, I would send those guys to deal with that unit and send SB to A point and yeah. uh, try to put the flag up on there again, try to go for the, uh, the three minute guy. Yeah, yeah. So they get here and they panic, they might go back to B and, you know, you have a big fight over B. Yeah, that, that's like ideal for the union because, you know, the, the CSA have to run uphill. There's just six Texas here. <laughs> yeah. So he's just gonna hold the line with whatever yeah. he has in his pistol. Nailing him here. Here comes Life Farrick. He's moving up. Yep, and Union took the beat point, but CSA are just gonna steamroll this uh, road right here. Yeah. Oh, it's too late. It's too late, Eddie. Flag bear, run. Flag run. Fuck off, flying. Yep, and that'll be the end of that. So, yep, they'll take C point now. Yep. Uh, again, A point. It opens. It's been wide open the whole game, you know, like, it's. It's crazy to me how they haven't tried to push on that more. Uh, it's um, yeah. I'm gonna say that's the uh, that's that's the main sin of even committing this game is not putting enough to contest it. Yeah. Now, like you've always said, like you've said this whole time, you don't want to overcommit, but you know, yeah. I don't I don't know if you know. Just, I don't know. It's got to be a little bit more. <laughs> no, you got to get what you mean. Like you have to equally put like a good amount on each yeah. point. Otherwise, you're always playing for, you know, it's, you know, they're always two to one, you know, every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we took B point. Well, they took C. Oh, well, we took C. They took B. What about A point? Well, I don't worry about A point. Yeah. Again, it might have come down to the two different offset meetings at the start. We don't know. Yeah, that could, I, 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 I could think that might be what happened here. And again, it's easy, you know, looking here to see it. Now are you going to A point? Oh. <laughs> Six minutes left. No, you decide yes. Let's go E point. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we are. See. Um, but yeah, no, I was like I was saying, um, like the terrain for B is in favor of the Union because CSA have to run up this hill. Like you can see, it's on a, an incline for CSA. Oh yeah, and and you can still get good arty shots on B from the Union arty. Um, yeah, they got batteries on right and left, so. It's good. But yeah, it's it's uh, the C. I've I've seen people do it often. I I just disagree with it. I, I don't mind if like a raid force, because yeah, like you could send like First Virginia or you know Port Georgia or something like that or Eddie back here through the corn. You know, just pop out and shoot them if they're here, or if nobody's here, just come around and decap and run back into the corn real quick. Yeah, yeah, you see that a lot actually. Um. But since they like overcommitted, then you know CSA didn't really get that close to where they could do stuff like that. Yeah. And um, Union goes breaking, so all CSA has to do is uh, somehow not go to the morale stage in four minutes and fifty seconds. Well, keep in mind right now they've got uh, they're about to triple cap them. Yeah. There it is. Oh, that is that is that's crazy. Yeah. Now, it's not going to last, they're going to put down 8 points, so it's not going to be yeah. too big of a deal, but... Yeah. Now, do they have a flag at 8 point is the question. Uh, I think, yeah, SP, they think they sent SB, I don't know. No, they sent 52nd. I don't know, I think 52nd should have been on the... It's a mistake because now you still need to you still need to recap, it's not just decapping. That's the thing about the counterattack mechanic, it's not just decapping the point anymore, you have to actually recap it to stop the clock. Yeah, you knew where a bite overrun him there, but the CSA just came in from behind again. Oh, it's Clarky! Oh, Fort Georgia. Yes, I love that. That's a very good flank right there.
Oh, the beautiful Rech flank. Rech Rech yeah. Rech 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 Two Union flags down now. Um, Good shit, turn for Georgia. <laughs> Link is in the description for anybody that does want to join. I would highly recommend. It. Yeah, you see that Union group north or northwest? I just sorry, you went away. Uh, northwest, like they have the flag. It's just um, or they have the flag and it's decapped, and it's just like they can't recap it. Maybe they didn't realize that it. I don't know. Like maybe they didn't realize that it wouldn't stop it. They might have thought all they had to do to, yeah. to stop the clock is a decap, and it's... Yeah. Yeah. CSA might win here by three-point cap. Um, yeah, they might here. I mean, the Union is... Again, C-point is not the easiest to attack for the Union. Hmm. Which, you know, again, you can kind of filter through, but you got a pretty strong line here. You got 4th Georgia. Yeah. You got 6th Texas. Oh, I'm sorry, you got A&V. You've got, um, uh, who is this? He's just a uh, fourth Georgia and NV. Fourth Georgia and NV, but that's still a pretty big force here. Here comes Pilot. He's gonna try his. He's gonna try his luck with it though. Yeah. He's only got. Well, here's the thing though. They've only got 40 seconds to get the flag down and put the other flag up. Yeah. Uh, Clark, he just needs to move to the point and just sit there. Yep. I, would I think agree. he's actually getting in the road right now. to shoot down towards them and uh, shoot them from two sides. So yeah. Yeah. As long as, you, as long as you keep them off point, that's all you're going to do, really, so... Exactly, yeah. And... 15 seconds remaining. Or no, Clarky's going to come through the corn right now. Another flank in the maneuver right here. Ah! Uh, yeah, looks like it's going to be pretty successful, too. Nice maneuver here by Mr. Clarky. And there we are. There. By, uh... Absolute win. Yeah. CSA secured by three points. Wow. All right. So, what do you, what do you think, Mr. Owens? Any final thoughts? Um. Yeah. I mean, I think the battle report will say it at all that the union just they committed way too much on C point and then uh, didn't commit much enough on the center and should have used. I think we were saying this the whole time. We they, they should have went to A point, which they already was looking at. But um, yeah. I think CSA. Uh, played that very well, and um, I don't know what that two officer meeting at the start for the union was about, but yeah, we'll see what happens in the next match. Hopefully, it's one officer meeting on the union. Yep, yep, hopefully, they get that fixed, but um, we'll see. And uh, yep, I'll see you guys on the next one.